So what do intrusive thoughts, images, urges, sensations, feelings, or what we refer to as intrusive thoughts, what do they mean? Well, the short answer is probably nothing, given that everybody has them and they're just a normal, commonplace part of everyday life. Now, I know that you might be shouting at the screen going, yes, but mine are different. And of course, it feels like that because you have content to those thoughts that you've noticed and you find really abhorrent or you don't like or you deem to be somehow wrong or bad. And what you potentially don't realise is that other people have uh, content like that to their thoughts and feelings too. So what we do in the treatment is talk about the fact that the more you try and understand the content of the thoughts, the more you listen to the content of the thoughts, the more you try and get any answers about what these thoughts mean, the more entrenched the problem becomes. Because when you're trying to answer this question, what do these thoughts mean? Where's your focus? Right in here, right? And what we want is for your focus to be outside of this sort of washing machine that is your mind when you have OCD and focusing instead externally on things going on in your life okay so when you try and ask that question what these thoughts mean we want you instead to go with this idea is they probably don't mean anything I can never know for 100% sure which I know might feel like a problem and then you learn to live with that uncertainty of like, OK, they probably don't mean anything. And I'm going to live as if and act as if I believe they don't mean anything. And I'm going to let go of trying to stop, uh, trying to find the answer to this question. Because trust me, the more you try and find the answer, the worse it's going to get.